second row seats. It's an art house cinema. It'll be fine. Will it? Because it doesn't exactly sound comfortable straining my neck to see the screen. Oh, come on. You can't back out now. I'm literally the only person in the known world that hasn't seen this. Hardly. And it wasn't even that well received. Yeah, but the director actually died watching it. His own movie. Now, if that's not a ringing endorsement of good horror, then I, I don't know what is. You sure a grisly horror film is a good idea? Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. You can't start too early, and it'll be good for him. It'll toughen him up a bit. Or her. Uh, or her. Is something wrong? I don't know. I had a bad dream. Mm. I don't have dreams anymore. I actually don't remember anything that happens in the night. I wake up feeling even more exhausted than I did when I went to bed. She's fun. I want to go with her again. I feel like we should definitely party with her. I don't think there's anything better. Where's everyone? Huh? Are we in the wrong cinema? This is your Have you not checked the ticket? You haven't checked the ticket. This is so, so this is you, it's all you. Hi, good morning, Mr. Ali. How are you? Yeah, I'm actually at the villa right now. I think it's one of the best ones in this trip. So, you're sure you don't want to rent it then? I'll get you a great price for this one. Absolutely, Mr. Ali. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. No, 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 no. I'm in a movie. Yeah, hi, it's sir. just started. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, Go. Yeah, I'll call you back in an hour. Go okay. On. You've not missed much, just that it's, you know, inspired by true events. A greater game for us in this world. I want another one. No, one has been found. I know. It was Do you think that could have happened? Well, that's exactly what the directors want you to believe. But it is based on true events. Mm -hmm. Some of it has to have happened. You seem very trusting, these filmmakers. No, I mean, generally, the supernatural. These things happen. Maybe so. But this film isn't going to convince anyone. Are you saying that whoever made this movie doesn't know horror? or that you know better. <laughs> I'm saying both. I know you. Don't I? True horror. The essence of fear. It sends shivers down your spine. But you can't move a muscle. You scream. No one hears you. It scares you. It scares you to death. And what you've seen so far? The old based on a true story, Chestnut. That my friend died with Blair Witch. 
And how would you know? I know, Horace. I can tell by the smell in the auditorium, by the amount of popcorn spilled on the floor, by the look on the usher's face, just how terrifying a movie is going to be. What are you even doing here, man? Sat there, not appreciating it. Being here wasn't exactly by choice. What does that mean? You'll see. One unwilling viewer. I came here to see an audience reaction. And all I get is you. I should probably tell you that I'm... The director? How did you... The work of true horror directors. Like Kubrick, and like Friedkin. So disturbing. So artistically in tune with their audience. They can make one's own living room appear creepy, where fear itself haunts your very dreams. This movie, it's not doing it for me. Who do you think you are? The entire history of cinema is one of directors whose first audiences thought they didn't like it. When in fact, they just didn't get it. By the way, I wanted to let you know. You can't see it, can you? This shift in the paradigm. <laughs> but don't worry. You will. Just remember this moment when the penny drops after 15 years of processing a body of work that began with this film. I see. So what do you want is for this film to be your first big success? Yes. To set you apart from the competition to pave the way for greatness. Yes. To make you famed. Wait. You're a critic. I should have known. You're a critic. Oh, I can't believe it. All this time I've just been sat here. We've even met before. If I've said or done anything. I need a good review. Just one solid review. Can you do that for me? Please. That can be arranged. What a night, what luck, what a change of fortune. One minute I'm watching my own movie by myself, watching my career go down the pan. And the next, I'm sat with the great critic, Henry.
Justin. Henry Farber, the popular film critic, who could lift or sink the fortunes of a movie with his one-line review, died last night in a cinema hall. He was 44 years old. The cause of death is assumed to be a cardiac arrest.